Yes guys, welcome back to the channel today. I don't really know what to call this video. I'm just going to be talking about what's been happening recently. So, um, in football news in terms of the teams that I support. So we'll start off with Aberdeen. Now, they have signed, so not, not they, we have signed Callum Roberts. He's an attacking midfielder from Notts County and he scored 16 goals last season, which, pretty good. I mean, pretty, pretty good. Um, he looks like a really good player, you know, scoring 16 goals when you're attacking midfielder. That's very, very good. And he's played for, um, he has played for pretty good teams. Well. He's played for Middlesbrough, he's played for Newcastle under 23. He has had a good career, he's a 25 year old and he looks to be a very good player. Now we haven't seen any we haven't seen anything from him yet, but he might start on Sunday. Um because it's from Lot County, there's no such thing with like as you know like a, a work permit issue, so he's straight to the club, which is really good to see. Um oh, it's a little bit squint. There we go. Um, it's just, I really don't know what to say about him, but I mean, he scored 16 goals last season, so I'm happy with if maybe he could maybe even double, maybe not, oh God, he wouldn't be able to double it. Um, maybe score a few more than that this season would be really good, which he, which is good to see because he obviously, it looks like he will back up our, the strikers and he'll back up the players who are normally scoring the goals. Um, honestly, not much to say. Um, other than, well, <laughs> there's not much to say other than um, he looks to be a very good player. Now, in other news, this is about Leicester, um, Kasper Schmeichel will leave to Nice after 11 years at Leicester. Um, well, I think he's been there 11 years, I did hear something about that, so I don't know if that's true or not, but... I'm just going to go with the fact that it's true. I mean, he was such a good goalie. Some of the saves he made, he, he saved Leicester in so many games. Um, and another thing is, like, he, I would, say, I would say he has been one of the best Premier League goalies of the last decade. He honestly is a really good shot stopper. He's got obviously his famous catch. Um, he's done. He's he's really good for. For Denmark, and he will be, I will I will miss him at Leicester, and it will be very hard for for Leicester to find a replacement as good as Schmeichel, because a lot of people underest a lot of people won't think this, but I think he was is one of was one of the best Premier League goalies last season. I thought you know last few seasons he's had really good seasons, and I think he's probably going to Nice to end his career because he's a bit older now. Um, so he's he, I wouldn't say he's done as well as his dad, but he followed in the footsteps. Of, they followed in the footsteps of his dad, and he did really, really well. Obviously, other incidents I'm not gonna name. I'll say that he's done really caring things in his career. Um, it's not as it's, I, when he retires, I will be very disappointed, and he's had a very, very good career. I would say up there as one of the best Premier League goalies um, a lot of people wouldn't say that but I would say it not just because I'm a Leicester fan but because of you know what he's done in football and what he's done for Leicester is absolutely incredible and we'll now have to say goodbye to him um, and we're gonna have to see if we can bring in a goalkeeper who is at the skill level of um, of at the skill level of Schmeichel because I don't think we could be trusting Danny Ward for the season. Um, I don't really know who Leicester could go in for. There's not many amazing goal. There, there is amazing goalkeepers out there, but there's not many that you know would fit Leicester's men. I don't think there's many that could overcome Schmeichel. I know this will probably not happen, but I have Alban Lafont in my head, the Nantes goalie. I think he's a very good option. Um, I don't think it. I, I don't think that'll happen in real life. But if I was Brendan Rodgers, I'd be interested in Lafont. I think he's a very good young goalie who could be at Leicester for a long time. Obviously, he's French, so he'll partner up with Fafana. But in other news about Leicester, Fafana could be going to Chelsea. I heard something about that. Tottenham are interested in James Madison, which 
would be a really disappointing to see him go, especially to see him go to Tottenham and Arsenal are still in for Tielemans. That's three crucial players. If we lose three, all three of them, we've already lost Schmeichel, so say we've just lost four really crucial players. I don't know what state we're going to be in. We're going to have a lot of money, but the thing is, I don't think we should be letting go of Madison. He is such an underrated player. He's so good. And f to see him leave would be really disappointing. And to see him go to Tottenham. Like, I'd be happy if he went maybe to a bigger club than Tottenham. Because if he went to, say, oh, I should say he goes to the United, which I, I wouldn't happen anyway because I'm just saying Ericsson. But say he went to City, I wouldn't be too annoyed with that because I can see him as the type of player at City, but obviously he wouldn't get any game time at City. But, you know, obviously that goalie squad against City last, a couple of years ago was absolutely incredible. I, I was like cracking. When I was watching that game, oh, I was, you should have seen how much I was celebrating. 5 2 against Man City. Yeah, that's just amazing. Um, I just don't know if what Leicester would do without Madison and Tillman to that midfield. Because they are two best midfielders like, who get forward. I will say Ndidi's and and a really good player. But I'd say he's a bit more defensive. He's not defensive, he's like a DM. But Madison and Tillemans are our best attacking midfielder. Obviously, Tillemans is a more central midfield. But he does get forward and he does track back a bit. He is a perfect midfielder who a lot of teams are interested in. But, if, I mean, if he goes to Arsenal, like that, I'd say that's a rival. I don't want to see him go to, to let... To, I don't want to see him go to Arsenal. I don't want Madison to go to Tottenham. But I prefer, like... Madison should go to a, maybe a, a sh Madison should be going to a bigger club and Tottenham or just saying at Leicester because he'll get I, he'd get game time at Spurs but I think he'd get more game time at Leicester. Obviously you'd get a bit I think I think you must get a bit more money at Spurs but I think Madison should stay at Leicester because I think it's better for his career. Um, I'd say I think Tielemans might need to go and Fafana. I think he's not ready to leave yet. I think Fafana is such a good player and to lose him, I'd be really disappointed. He's really fast as well and he's fantastic. He's a fantastic defender. It was really annoying that he got injured at the start of last season, but at least now he's back from injury and hopefully this season he can get a lot done and really, really prove how good he is. Um, oh, there's something else. Um, oh, yeah. Um, well, that's the Premier Sports Cup. Group stage is over, and Aberdeen have got Annan Athletic in the next draw. I don't know if I mentioned that in my SPFL predictions video, but I'll just mention it in this video anyway. Um, I think we've got the worst team out of the whole team, and out of the whole teams, out of all the teams in the um, in the group stage. I think who, who who we could have got. I think we got the best who we could have got. I mean, then again, Annan did absolutely destroy their group. They shocked everyone. And it won't be as easy as many people think, but I think we'll win the game. Um, I probably won't be going to it because it's a midweek game and obviously I'll have school. And for it, I mean, to have to go all the way down to Annan, like, no thank you. No, no thank you. I'm not doing that. Um... It'd be pretty cheap because well, it's a league. It's a league two. Is it league, are they league two or league one? I think or league two. I think well, if they are league two, you know how well they just performed. They might even have a chance at winning league two this season. But I don't. I don't really know much about league two. I actually don't have a clue about league two. One thing I know is that still in Albion, Peterhead, and Elgin are in it, and Edinburgh City. I don't know much about it. I don't keep track of it. The only leagues I keep track of are. Um, the Premiership and the um, sometimes the Championship and the, obviously the Premier League and uh, English Premier League. Um, quick word again, I did mention this in my prediction video, but my um, away kit ranking video. Um, honestly, like some of the stuff I say in it, it'll be because I filmed it ages ago, but it's taken me so long to edit. I'm really close to getting it finished, so it'll probably come out live to you guys not live um, it'll probably come out either um let's what do i think well when could it, when is it going to come out it'll probably come out either tomorrow 
tomorrow at the earliest and Friday at the latest is probably when it'll come out. It'll definitely come out in that time. But that's that's just a quick update there. Um so yeah, another um obviously we just beat Wraithovers. Um two amazing goals were scored in that game. It was a cracking penalty from Bojan Miofsky. You know, to see him get off the mark like that with a cracking penalty. That I'm like, that is the way you take a penalty. You absolutely hammer it. And he hammered it into the top right hand corner. The keeper guessed the right way, but he had no chance because it was dead in the top right. And Ross McCrory's goal, oh my god, that was a banger. That was like, what, 30, 40 yards? No, not 40, but like 30, 35 push yards pushing it. That was an absolutely crack out of a cracker and off the bar. Ross McCrory, I wish I, was, I wish I, I wish I was actually at that. I wish I was at that game, but I wasn't. If I was, it would have been a great match day vlog, and it would have honestly been a great moment to get that on camera and to get Bojan Miofsky's penalty on camera as well. He looks to be a very good player, you know. He's really tall and he's quite physical, so. He's definitely going to be a bit of a nightmare for for defenders, but um, I just think what what I think. Um, oh God! See, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, what was I going to say? I think I know it's his debut and he scored a penalty, but I still think he's going to be a very good player. You know, he did play well. Um, I think him and Duke are going to do really well. I don't know if. Bojan Miofsky is meant to be the backup and Duke's meant to be the main striker. I guess we'll see what happens against Celtic next week. No, not next week, on Sunday. Because that will be the game where we play all of our best players. Because I don't see Goodwin playing Mason Hancock. Even though he has played really well over the course of the group stage. I do think that if we're going to be playing against Celtic, we need to be putting out our best squad possible. So, But the problem is with that, maybe... Maybe having to chuck Johnny Hayes at like left wing back, putting Jim Richardson at right wing back, you know, or keeping the two centre backs. Um, maybe that be the time Bates, Bates and Stewart. Um, or maybe just stick with. I don't know. Well, I don't think Scales can play anyway, so it'll have to be Bates. I do think it'll, it'll be a very tough game against. Obviously, it'll be a tough game against Celtic. But you know, I probably will make a video about that in the coming days. Um. It's gonna be uh I'm gonna I'm gonna get as many videos out as I can at, towards the end of this week and um I won't be going to the Celtic game because well the prices to go to Parkhead are just a bit too much. So yeah, um that'll be it for today's video. Um hope you guys did enjoy it. Um and I will say a quick apologies to the um, Premiership Predictions video. It was like 20 minutes long. I didn't even realise it got that long. And by the time I edited it, I thought, well, there's no point going back and doing it again. Because, well, I'm not, there's no point. And I've already, I've covered the main topics. And I think I did a solid job of it. But I do apologise it was a bit long. Uh, this video, it's going to be like maybe f like 14 minutes long. Uh, I'm trying to keep my videos as short as I can. But sometimes when there's too much to talk about, I kind of have to go a bit over. My, like, I ideally try to keep it under 12 minutes. But sometimes when there's too much to talk about, it goes, I go over that. But yeah, I um, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video on my channel.